Hi guys, today is the day we are finally making expressions. Let's see what we are working with. All right, guys, here we are on Live 2D. So what we're going to work with is the mouth form and mouth open keyforms and animations that we did in our last video. This is really important, by the way. This is like top priority. Then we are going to go to our eyes and we're going to work with our eyes as well, right? We can see that we are having open and closing and our eyeballs as well because we're going to do some cute stuff with the eyeballs later. And we're going to use our eyebrows, but I have them rig them yet. That's because I like to rig the eyebrows when I'm going to do the expressions. So let's begin. We are going to go and create a new parameter right here. Okay, in this button, we press it and we're going to create a new parameter. This parameter is going to work as a toggle for our expressions. In this case, let's begin with our angry expression okay change the id of the parameter guys call it the same angry right because when we're going to export the model later and when we set up our animations uh if i'm not mistaken what we are looking for is for the id so the name is just going to appear on this parameter tab but when we export it to face tracking programs the id is the one that is going to appear so if you have just id param you're not going to know what you're working with. Now, ranges. Since this is a toggle on and off, we are going to go from zero to one. Zero meaning off and one meaning on. Now we hit okay, and we're going to create our new parameter that apparently is on a wrong folder. So I'm going to move it from here and I'm going to have a little bit of organization. I'm going to create a new folder in this button right here. And a folder is created and we call it expressions. Move the angry parameter to our expressions folder and have it there so if you remember correctly out our left we have our sad mouth and our right we have our happy mouth in the middle is our neutral expression okay so i'm going to select all the pieces of the mouth like this and i'm going to zoom so you guys can see what i'm going to do if you pay attention in my last video i showed you how to copy and paste information on each key form and that's what we're going to do today but before doing that, we're going to select the mouth and we're going to select our angry parameter. And we're going to create two key forms. Really important. Pay attention here. So, as I said before, when our angry parameter or our expression parameter is on 0, 0.0 means that the toggle animation is off. Therefore, our mouth and everything that it's going to be affected by this expression is going to be on its normal state so when the angry parameter is on 1.0 is when we are going to start working and what i'm going to do next is since we are working with our angry expression i don't need our happy mouths anymore but i'm not going to delete them no 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 i'm going to duplicate the sadness basically so i'm going to select our forms and i'm going to shift copy position myself on its happy counterpart and shift paste now we have sad sad now I'm going to do the same with all the other ones. And we're going to shift copy, shift paste. Now, everything is sad, basically, okay? Everything is going to be sad. As long as our angry parameter is on 1.1. But look at this. I'm going to position myself where the happy mouth should be. And I'm going to go and toggle off our expression. Now our mouth is happy again all right guys now we have an angry mouth but if i'm being honest uh she kind of looks more upset than anything so we're going to fix that and we're going to do it by animating our eyebrows i'm going to hide the hair and go to the eyebrows there we go remember guys i always work with one so i can then flip it when all the animation is done so we save time all right guys time to animate our eyebrows first thing first though check that your mesh is a little bit complex like this one in screen right so we can transform it easier. Now, the parameters that we're going to use are uh, these ones, okay? I already have them in a folder and we're going to go and use brow L Y, brow L angle and brow L form. Okay, so we're going to go with brow L Y. And remember, every time we're going to animate something position wise, it's better if we use a warp deformer. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to create a warp deformer, eyebrow Y. And here we have our eyebrow Y warp deformer. But that's not all. We're going to make another one. So we're going to select our eyebrow part again and another warp deformer. But this one is going to be for the angle, okay? Perfect. Now, if we go down to our deformer tab, we're going to see that our eyebrow Y, that is the one that is going to control position, contains our eyebrow angle and our parts. Important to have it like this so we don't mess things up, okay? Now, while selecting the deformer of eyebrow Y, we're going to do the brow LY. 
So we're going to create three keyforms and we're going to move our eyebrow like this. When it's on 1.1, it's going to move upwards. But eyebrows are a little bit delicate. So we're going to just move them a little bit, okay? Just a little bit, a little bit up. And of course, when it goes to minus one, we're going to go down a little bit, okay? Now, we're going to select eyebrow angle, the warp deformer, and we're going to create three keyforms as well. This time on the bro L angle parameter. When we go minus one, we're going to rotate our eyebrow downwards, a little bit like this, okay? And we can move it a little bit inwards, it depends. The idea is to make it look like your eyebrow is moving down. It feels a little bit better. And when it goes positive on one, we're going to do the same, but like this, we're going to move it upwards and back. At last, we're going to work with brow L form. So we're going to select the eyebrow part. And this process is going to be the same as when we animated eyebrows and the mouth lines and everything else. We're going to select brow form. We're going to create three keyforms and we're going to go with our old friend D, the form and path edit tool. We're going to click it and we're going to set up our deform path edit, okay? All right, now, once this is done, we're going to make the following shapes. Ready? When we are on brow L form minus one, we're going to make our angriest form or our angriest shape of the eyebrow, okay? Something like this. So, when our eyebrow goes to minus one, we're going to have this transformation, okay? And when we go to Browell form 1.0, we're going to make another shape. And we're going to base this shape around a doubtful eyebrow, maybe a question eyebrow. So these are the two forms that our eyebrow is going to transform into, okay? This one and this one. Okay, now that we have our bro form angle and Y position done, we're going to link our form to our angry parameters. So when our character is angry, all her face is going to look angry, okay? Let's begin. I'm going to select the eyebrows and I'm going to do exactly the same thing as I did with the mouth forms, okay? I'm going to select the angry parameter, hit two key forms and on 0, 0.0, the toggle is off. And when we go to one, I'm going to shift copy this key form and paste it on all the other bro forms, okay? So our character has this. So every time our character toggles its angry animation, this is going to happen. We can actually link the angle as well. So I'm going to link bro L angle as well and I'll see you in a second. All right, guys, once our character is angry, the angle and the shape of our eyebrow is going to change and the position on the Y axis is going to depend on our facial expression. If we really make our eyebrows go down, this is going to happen, okay? So this one is going to be left for our face track. All right, guys, we're almost done. We're only missing one expression that I want to share with you guys, and it's the expression of love. The way it's going to work is that when we toggle our animation, hearts are going to appear on our character's irises. All right, guys, here we have our heart image. Some things that we have to do are hide our hard inside our sclera so we're going to copy the id of a sclera and we're going to go to hard eye and we're going to apply it on our clipping id mask right here hit ok and now our heart is inside our eye now our second step is of course moving it with our iris okay so we're going to go to our deformer tab and we're going to look for our iris xy deformer and look at this the only thing that we're going to do is select hard eyes and move it into iris l x y once this is done we don't need to animate position because the heart is going to take the position of the iris all right guys now to finish we're going to go to our parameters tab and we're going to create our last expression for today called love remember to change the id name to match your parameters name and in the ranges we're going to go from zero to one because we're making a toggleable animation okay so once we have our parameter love, the simple way of doing this is selecting the parameter, selecting the heart, and going to the inspector tab, okay? Now in the inspector tab, you guys can see that we have opacity. Opacity is also saved inside the keyform information. So what we're going to do is basically make it appear and disappear like this. We're going to create two keyforms on love while selecting the heart. And when it's on zero, we're going to make it disappear. So we are going to go to our inspector tab and lower the opacity to zero. 
and we end up with this animation. What I'm going to do next is the same thing as before, right? I'm going to match the mouth forms. So when we activate our love expression, our mouth is going to be always happy. And on the eyebrows, I'm going to make this change. The brow angle, I'm going to make it go to one. And also the brow form is going to be one. All right, guys, everything is ready so we can export our model to VTube Studio. Check it out. Angry expression checks out, there we go. And love expression also checks out. If you guys wanna know how to duplicate objects and flip them, specifically the eyes, I made this video on how to rig eyes on Live 2D. You can go to the timestamps, there's one that says how to do it, okay? So what I'm going to do is export this. I'm going to go to file, then I'm going to go to export for runtime and export as a mock 3 file. All right, guys, this window is going to appear after a while and we're going to hit OK. We're going to look for the place that we want to save our model. I'm going to save it on our live 2D tutorial and I'm going to click save. All right, guys, after we save it, these three items are going to appear in our location, a folder with our texture atlas, our mock 3 file and a JSON file, right? So if we want to import to VTube Studio, we're going to make a new folder. And the important thing here is that we're going to go underscore BTS. All right. Once that's done, we're going to drag our files in this folder and we are ready to jump into VTube Studio. All right, guys, here we are in VTube Studio. And now I'm going to show you how to import our model. OK, we're going to double click on our screen and this menu on the side is going to appear. We are going to go to this button right here that have a person on it. And there this bar on the bottom is going to appear. So we're going to click import your own model. Open folder and we're going to have our folder from VTube Studio that says Live 2D Models, all right? So the only thing we need to do here is to drag our folder that we prepared it before onto this Live 2D Models folder, and that's it. Let's go back to VTube Studio, and I'm going to check out if our character appears, and yes, here it is, YouTube Model. We're going to click it, and while it's still loading, here we... <laughs> Okay, uh, you guys can see that the eyes and mouth are not linked to the X, Y, and Z parameters on the head. But I'm going to do that for our next video, so don't worry about that. We're going to go and set up our expressions, okay? We're going to click this button right here, okay? I'm going to put my face here, and we're going to go up and go to this button right here. This is where we can actually set up our hotkeys, all right? So I'm going to go through my expression editor. We're going to click here and we're going to go to create new expression. Uh, here we have our parameters, right? So I'm going to look through these parameters. I'm not going to look for angry and love. Here we have them. And I'm going to start with angry, okay? So I'm going to toggle on, go from zero to one. And before we save, we're going to give it a name. And I'm going to give the name angry, save. Once we click it, we're going to see that we have our angry XP3 JSON parameter here, all right? But we're going to go back to create new expression, select, we're going to do the same thing, go up to one and give it a name, love, there we go, and save. Okay, now we have angry and love. And what we're going to do next is create new hotkeys for all unused expressions and apply it. We hit OK. And these two menus are going to appear. Here we can actually make our keybinds. Okay, so. Hotkey action means that set on set expression and the expression will be angry. The key combination, you can make key combinations or just press one. So we're going to go to key and I'm going to press one. So we can find numpad one or F1. I'm going to go with one. Select. And every time I press one, my face is going to change and I'm going to have an angry expression. Huh? How about that? I'm going to do the same thing with love. I'm going to press key one, press number two, and two, select, and every time I press two, my expression is going to change to this. And that's how you set up expressions, guys. Well, guys, that will be all for today. I'll say bye-bye while I'm still a floating head. And our next video, we're going to fix this, okay? We're going to make our eyes and mouth and nose follow our head, all right? Because this, well, this is kind of weird if I'm being honest, but <laughs> we're going to fix it later. So I'll see you later, guys. Bye-bye.